Hi, I'm Alex and this is Tank Tested. Behind me is a quarry, which means that today we're going diving and I'm gonna carve this pumpkin underwater. Today, we're in Southern Virginia, just a few days before Halloween. This is Lake Phoenix. It was a granite quarry in the 1950s and 60s that specialized in delivering crushed stone for concrete. The quarry was successful until workers exposed a small crack in the eastern wall. From there, water poured in. This lake was formed, reaching a max depth of around 70 feet. Today, it's primarily used as a dive site. It's a great place to get certified as a scuba diver and train in controlled environments. I was certified here, and it's fun to visit the scuttled ships and discarded buses. As we peer into the bus, it's worth noting that the engines, gas lines, and corrosive materials have all been removed from these vehicles. That leaves just these ghostly shells on the quarry floor. It's a safe site to train and a good place to spot the occasional bass or sunfish. I believe these fish were introduced here, but I don't know that for sure. That said, I don't know how they would have gotten here otherwise. This lake is just a little over 50 years old. Since it's the Halloween season, the bottom of the lake has been decorated with hauntings for the occasion. But I came to Lake Phoenix to carve pumpkins. Those bubbles are us, 30 feet below the surface, carving away. It's not that different from carving on land, except now your pumpkin wants to float, you can't breathe, and there are curious fish to oversee the whole operation. I believe these are bluegills. They're in the sunfish family, so you might recognize their cousins, the pumpkin seed sunfish, from a video I did earlier this year. I'll put a link here for that video. Pumpkin seeds would have been a more appropriate fish for this video, but you can't always choose your wildlife. That said, the bluegills were certainly interested in the bits of pumpkin carnage, but they didn't seem to enjoy the taste much. Everyone else was carving spooky faces, but I decided to carve my channel's new logo. I guess I could have carved a fish skeleton or something, but I did that last time I dove here. So, this is what you get this year. It feels appropriate for my channel, even if it's not particularly scary. I'll see you next time. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website, tanktested.org, for more information.